how to win an arm wrestle. Here's the deal. Okay, you can either watch this video or just read the wiki how, how to win an arm wrestle in 10 steps. All right. Since you're watching this though, I'm guessing you want to win, <laughs> win the arm wrestle. When it comes to arm wrestling non-professionally, it really is just about strength and a basic understanding of arm wrestling moves. Breaking down the order of moves in, in order to beat your enemy will be easiest if I show the techniques to you first then some specific exercises to make your arm wrestling impenetrable. If you want to catch your friends off guard in a month's time and be way stronger on arm wrestling than you were last time, or beat the school bully with your disgustingly strong forearms and then get bullied even harder because you have disgustingly strong forearms, then watch this video basically. The first thing you should know is most opponents in my experience and from what I've seen will try to pull you into a hook grip and pull you into their center. This is good for the average person and lifters because they've watched one or two arm wrestling videos before and see people do this if they're stronger than you and you don't know how to beat this, you probably lose. I've done that in the past. To counter the hook move, you're going to top roll, which is a basic move you can do. You're going to, and I'll explain it to you in step-by-step -step fashion, okay? Before I even do the basics, you're gonna sit in the table or stand with your body touching the table. You're going to bring your shoulder blade of the arm you're arm wrestling with down. So for me, it's my right shoulder. This is the next important step. You're gonna move your elbow and shoulder closer to your opponent to get a higher position. So move in, and as you can see, my arm on the side, it kind of comes up. Instead of being here, it comes up like this. Get a higher position on your opponent, it gives you good leverage. Essentially doing a hammer curl movement with your shoulder and that with a dumbbell. Moving your wrist to your shoulder up until the point you have a slightly high or a slight, slightly higher hand position than them. The next important thing, all right? This is if you really want to win, you should do these, these, these techniques, okay? If you're not just like, oh, I don't really mind if I win or lose. It's important to win, okay? It is, so watch this if you want to know how. When you're grabbing the opponent's hand, grip their hand high, don't grip their wrist, grip their thumb, okay? So when you're going into it, don't have your wrist looking like this on their hand. Sort of grab their wrist up here and closer to their thumb and wrap around the hand more like that. <clears throat> Cover as much of the hand as you can. Don't go a low grip like this on their wrist. It just gives you worse leverage. Put your wrist in a worse position at the start. It's kind of like if you go into a thumb wrestle where you have like the smaller thumb, I think. That's the way I imagine it. If you've ever done a thumb wrestle and you're just your thumb is like in a really bad position, you're just you can't ever pin them. And in this case, it's the same thing. So the next thing is you should grip to pull your hand up and over their hand, pulling backwards and using a rollover motion. So get into position with your hand, do all the things you do with your shoulder that I explained. Drop your shoulder, put your hand in, get a high grip, get your body nice and close in. And then once the match starts, pull back, pull back, keeping that tension there still. And then pulling back, go over the top and sort of target their fingers if you can imagine that. So it would look something like this. If you arm wrestling me, drop down, pull down like that. Your arm, your hand goes over the top like that. That's pretty much a top roll in a nutshell. That's gonna beat your opponent if they're using a hook grip, which is what most people use at the start, even if they don't know what that means. The next thing you can do is if you know you're stronger than your opponent, you can use the hook grip yourself to tie your opponent out and then eventually win and overpower them. Number one, sit or stand with your body touching the table just like before. Move your shoulder and closer to your wrist as much as possible. So in this case, you're pushing your shoulder forward a bit as you're leaning your body in. Grip your opponent's hand, covering as far and as much as possible. Instead of going for a higher grip, we can go for a more of a cover the entire hand sort of situation. So instead of going for like this sort of grip, you'd go for just like a covering the entire thing. Already getting your wrist sort of in that flexion around that wrist. The important next step though, is when the match starts, pull your wrist and shoulder towards the center of your body. That's where you want all your power to be at. That's where all of your musculature, all your, your frame, your skeleton basically, which is stronger than your muscles, is positioned. So that's why it's better to have your hand aiming towards the center, okay? All of this scientific shit is important if you wanna win, all right? Uh, you probably know that already if you're watching this, to be fair. Number five, the final step of a hook grip is, it's really good to tie your opponent using a hook grip if you can, in my experience. But if you can't finish the grip, 
in this position, you might be better off going to a top roll. So you'd have them in this position here where you're sort of, your shoulders forward, your hand is pulling the wrist towards you. That's what you want the hook grip is. The idea of it is so you can pull the wrist towards you and then pretty much take the wrist out of the entire equation because that's where all the strength comes from in arm wrestling. And I'll get into that in a second. You pull it towards you. If you can't finish them from there and you can't go down any further, you can try and going over onto a top row where you lean back and then go like that. That's kind of more tactical though. So it's always okay if you have them already like this towards you just to keep them like that and exhaust them because it's much more tiring to be down here trying to fight back than it is to be here and already using most of your body to weigh them down. Do you know what I mean? If anyone says don't use your body to arm wrestle, then they're doing it kind of dangerously. You don't have to use your body a whole lot, just enough so you don't hurt your arm in the process because if you don't use your other muscles besides your bicep and your forearm to arm wrestle, you could hurt yourself and maybe break your arm if you do it against someone who's really like a lot stronger than you. Before you do the top roll or the hook grip though, the most important thing is the basics. The basics goes like this. Sit or stand with your body against the table. Keep your shoulders down and engage your, your back lats, which is basically this muscle here. It's the whole point of having your shoulder down in the first place. Grip your opponent's hand with a high grip. All right, we don't worry about the hook and the top roll on this. Just for this sake, you have better leverage with a high grip. So to do this, you push your shoulder down, you pull forward and you sort of, like we talked about before, move your arm up like that. You move your arm up like this. Instead of down here, you move closer in, move your arm up like that. Your, mean, your knuckles facing the ceiling or the sky, preferably. And then load your muscles before you even start the arm wrestle. Basically, with your opponent's hand gripped, pull your arm upwards, like we were just talking about, and create tension so you feel like you're sort of locking into the arm. You feel really stable there and give yourself better leverage of the hands just by doing this. Just by sort of leaning into it, getting your shoulders prepared, and prepping, sort of start tensing your muscles, getting ready for the arm wrestle. After you've pulled your arm upward, keep your body tucked close to your elbow for better leverage. So move even closer in, tuck your elbow into your, your lats almost, or pull into your side is a better way to think about it. Pull your elbow into your side. And then the final thing is with your dominant foot, whatever, whichever foot that is, put that one forward, that'll, pretty much channel all the energy that you need to go in the right direction. For me, it's my right leg. Even when I'm sitting, I'm still gonna put my right leg forward because it's gonna generate more power that way. And then you can start the arm wrestle after that. Use these basics. And if this video makes it easy to understand arm wrestling at all, please subscribe because I wanna see more of you around here. And you learning stuff is pretty much why I make these videos. Back to the video, let's be honest. You're still going to struggle if the person is stronger than you as a beginner arm wrestler. Pulling his tips out of your pocket when you're challenged will be definitely hard. So try to keep at least the basics in mind, then the top roll and the hook moves. The best way though, flat out to get an advantage over your player before you even start is to be stronger than they are. You know, at least for the average person, <clears throat> not the arm wrestler, because you know, you, you can have an arm wrestler half the size of another arm wrestler that beats the one double that first in size, just because they have way better technique and they've been doing arm wrestling for way longer. Weirdly enough, that's how it works. The best way to get stronger in arm wrestling is your forearm and wrist muscles. There's no other better muscles than those. You can do this classic, uh, you can do the classics to get stronger at this, the classic exercises like wrist curls and wrist extensions, wrist curls being these ones. I don't know if you've seen them, you can look them up, they're fairly simple. And you just do a high rep range, 30 to 50 reps, that sounds like a lot, it's, it's actually necessary. And according to Devon Lorette, benefits your forearms much more than any other muscle doing a high rep range, which kind of makes sense if you think about it because you use your forearms every day to do stuff like this. And then you can do a different exercise, which is wrist extensions. These are also really, really good. Oh, these are actually the back ones, wrist extensions, the back ones. These are great exercises to just generally build up your forearm strength and aesthetic because one of the most Aesthetic muscles you can have is your forearms. It's the most, one of the most attractive, scientifically proven by the way, and you become stronger in arm wrestling just by training those muscles. A solid routine for training forearms will be doing three to five sets of wrist curls, maybe earlier in the week on a Tuesday, for example. You can do those with dumbbells and 
then another three to five sets later in the week of wrist extensions. You're just doing the opposite of what you're doing before with dumbbells later in the week. So according to Devin Lorad though, the maximum that you want to train, at least as a beginner, is two times per week, then you'll be fully fatigued within each set doing around 30 to 50 reps. Maybe you can do more sets than that, more than three to five sets if you really want to, but that's going to pretty much guarantee growth three to five sets, two days, a, two days a week is pretty good with 30, 35 reps or 30 to 50 reps, I should say. Uh, one of the best things you can do for forearms and it will make you stronger in arm wrestling. Probably will make you win. Okay. Guaranteed will make you win. I just have these grip strengtheners out um, because I'm considering doing them again. It's actually not too bad for arm wrestling and getting better at forearm strength. He also says though, the last thing he says, Devin Lorat, I mean, is to do the upwards wrist movement. This one is one that every arm wrestler professional does just because having this control of your wrist and making it stronger than your opponents is a significant advantage in every sort of move that you do with your wrist, apparently, according to him. Keep arm wrestling though, even if you lose them, you'll win one day champ, okay? Just because courage can change the outcome.